Don't get me wrong, you, you've been really great rescuing me from Epiphany and my Uncle Mac. Uh, but, but you're a brilliant doctor, not a nurse, and obviously what I need right now is a home care nurse so that you can go out and do whatever it is that you need to do. Okay, uh, well, if you want a nurse, then call the registry of murder one. I don't see how that has anything to do with us moving in together. <laughs> don't be silly, come on. I mean, we both know we're not moving in together now. Why not? Or... Why not? Well, because for one thing, I'm having a baby. We are having a baby. We right? are not having this baby together. You have been very wonderful and supportive. Okay, so you don't want to be the bad guy. So you, so you pretend that you want me involved, but it's really starting to look like you'd be happy if you would have just went to the sperm bank. I'm not an idiot. I know you, and I know that if I moved in with you with this child, that you would go crazy. You are so afraid to be proven wrong. No, I just want my baby to have... Our baby. Our baby. I want our baby to have a great life, not to feel unwanted or, or rejected or confused. I've spent months trying to prove to you that I want to be with you, that I want to try and be a father to this kid, that I'm ready to accept the changes in my life and, and try and make a family with you. The only one that doesn't want to be in a relationship is you. I mean, now that you got the baby, really, what do you need me for? Pay it. I love you and I respected what you told me. That you don't want to be a dad. For God's sake, brother. People change their mind. People grow up. You learn from your mistakes. Five years ago, there's no way you would have thought you would have been pregnant. But here you are. And hooray for you. But what about a little respect for the rest of us? Here's what I think. I think you found me on the floor and it scared you to death. Of course it did. Because you love me. And I love you just as much. I am in no way done with you. I just don't want to be the reason that you compromise yourself. You are a high-powered, high-octane bachelor. Come on. The last thing you want is a living girlfriend with a little baby. You are terrified to count on me. You are so scared you're going to be disappointed. You set the bar so low that you're not even giving us a chance to be a family. Despite... I am sick of having the same fight with you. You wouldn't have even thought of having a family if I wasn't pregnant. But you are. And at least I want the chance to explore the possibilities. Robin, I might be good at fatherhood. Hell, I might be great. Why would it be any different than anything else in my life? He said with modesty. Listen, I love you. But I don't want to be your test run at fatherhood. I mean, I was really excited about being a single mom because then I know who I can count on. I think you have your head in the sand. You have this romantic idea of you and your baby taking on the world. I'm just being realistic. I don't think you have any idea what it means to raise a child. I can figure it out. No, but you want realistic? Everybody needs somebody. Even you. You can call a nurse. Or you can have me, the man who loves you, the man that you're having this child with, be the one that you depend on. You're serious? I'm gonna go to the kitchen. I'm gonna grab myself a beer. I'm gonna grab a couple aspirins, no offense. While I'm gone, I want you to think about what I said. Do you need anything? Um, herb tea. Tea. Please. on you. Well, I heard what you said, and I'm not dismissing it. I just think it deserves some consideration. <sighs> Patrick! God! I knew Robin would be here, but you're even better. Better than what? Oh, I need a babysitter. My regulars aren't available, and daycare is full, and Lucky's working, Pam's out of town. But the good news is, I'm only going to be for a few hours. Do you think you can help me out? No, I really would be a lifesaver. Oh, God. 
Elizabeth, I, I have to take care of Robin. Oh, please, Jake's no trouble at all. I've got food in here, I've got toys. Uh, he does need his diaper change. Be a good boy for them, okay, baby? Thank you guys so much. Call me if you need me. I'll be back soon. I owe you a big time. <laughs> Sorry, I, 